Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. This is going to be so much fun. I'm going to show you how to do this barn door card. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness. It is on page 43 of the New Occasions catalog and um, you can save 10% by getting the framelits with it uh, in the bundle. So it's the barn door bundle. That's a lot of fun. Remember, if you order $25 in product from me this month, these are the two free card kits that you get. Hop on over to StampinInTheValley.com, click on the big blue button, and place your online order, $25 prior to shipping, handling, and taxes, and I send you those two free card kits. It's very simple. We also have celebration going on, and you get to pick from the celebration catalog. Um, you get to pick certain items from there when you spend $50 or more. I was looking for the catalog. I've got it right up here. Okay. So there's beautiful stamp sets in here. Ribbons, uh, framelits, or thinlets, paper, uh, great stamp sets, fun stuff. A lot, a lot of fun things um, in our celebrations. So if you have any questions, just email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com, and I will be more than happy to answer any questions. Also, oh my goodness, if you have ordered a paper share from me, I left out some paper, guys. I, I just ordered it today. I totally missed it. I did, and it is a glimmer stack. So if you have ordered a paper share from me, um, you are going to get this paper right here. Okay, Myths and Magic 6x6 Glimmer Paper. Okay, so you're going to get some of that in the mail from me if you have ordered a paper share. I missed this in the catalog. I am so sorry. Um, I just, I didn't see it. I just, I just really missed it right there. But it's Glimmer Paper, guys, and so this is going to be great. It's iridescent, light green, and turquoise are the colors. So again, if you've ordered a paper share for me, I'm going to be sending you this for free um, uh, because you ordered the paper share for me and this should have been in it. Then now if you do order a paper share from me, I'm going to wait until I get this paper to send it to you. Uh, so I have four left. Um, uh, so... The four people who have ordered this from me, you will get that glimmer paper in the mail. Um, if anybody else does, I'm going to wait a week until I get that, put that in the paper share, and then you'll get that. It's just $30. So, and that includes the shipping. It's $23 with $7 for shipping. So we're going to come back in just a moment and put this together. There is a, um, there's a tip to this. I want to show this to you. This door does not freely okay, slide. I kind, of, I kind of have to push it. I have to help it a little bit, okay? This door just slides back and forth nicely, okay? Isn't that fun? Woo, I love it. So we are going to talk about what to do when you cut this first piece. This is very, very important. So I'll be back in a minute with the Big Shot, and we'll get going with this. I've moved the Big Shot in, and I've pulled this framelit out of the set uh, to make the slots in the door. And uh, I'm just really having a lot of fun with this because here's what I came up with. This is what we're going to make. And I put the hedgehogs behind the door. Isn't that cute? I love that. So we're going to go through all of this. But see how this door slides, okay? And this door slides nicely. Okay, that's what you want. But this door does not. This was my very first one. I kind of have to pull this. I'm okay with it, but um, but they're supposed to slide. Okay, so but this I have to pull. Now, why is that? See this strip right down here when you put this framelit on your paper? I'm going to show you what not to do first. Here's one that I cut. See how thin this is? Because when you buy, when you purchase this um, bundle, you must purchase, I'm, or I'm, you don't have to, but it's a good idea to purchase the foam adhesive strips because that is what's here, in here, that holds this up so that the door can slide. 
but at the same time you need enough room right here to add the foam adhesive strip plus have your sliding mechanism there with the um, washers okay and so this is a very very important way to start this card you definitely want more room than this and look here let's look at this card okay it's just about half again okay it's not that much but uh, you have to leave enough room for the door to slide and to be able to hold the foam adhesive strip okay so with that being said we're going to bring in our card base and the other thing is with this card you want to start with a card base of eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter you definitely want the landscape way of opening a card so that you have enough room for the door to slide back and forth okay so that's another tip okay so this one we're going to do in lemon lime twist I absolutely love that color so we're going to put this right here and this uh, piece is five and a quarter by four and then we're going to take this framelit and we're going to center it just kind of look at it and center it first okay now watch move it down just about half this amount just about this width right here just move it down just like that and that's going to give you enough room here plus you're going to have enough of a slot to put your um, washers okay so we move that down just that little bit and we're going to roll that through the big shot see what we get here this is going to be great okay perfect perfect see how that is you definitely have enough room down here okay now I like to cut my slots first and then I like to emboss so let me just let's just do that we're going to do this entire card I'm going to do this entire card with you guys on camera let me bring in my plates. I'm still using the old, you know, uh, way and it works and there's no sense to buy more. You can use any embossing folder that you wish. I'm using this um, Seaside one because I love the lemon lime twist and it reminds me of the beach. So I like to emboss... Um, after I cut those slots out okay now remember these this um, embossing folder is six across make sure that you don't have it lapping over to bend your embossing folder so then I just kind of bring this through now you know when this breaks I'll get the other uh, style of embossing but this works and if this is what you guys have just keep using it you see my plates <laughs> they're a disaster but they work so you know until they crack in half I'm not going to replace them so this is perfect the top right there and the bottom of course the top has a little bit more because we have to add our um, that little line right there that little bar right there this is an actual optical illusion it's just glued on the door okay it is not glued or um, ro rolling on that little black bar part of the barn door okay it's just the uh, the illusion that it does so I think that is just so adorable I just love I've made like 20 of these cards I cannot stop making um, these cards I just love using the mechanism with the washers and stuff so back in a moment and we're going to start to put the barn door on First, we're going to um, stamp and make the inside of the door right here where the door slides back and forth and you see like this one I did the hedgehogs. This one I use the uh, saying from the stamp set, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more. I love that. Isn't that beautiful? And nothing but happiness come through your door. 
I love that. That is just fantastic. Uh, that is a beautiful, beautiful sentiment. Um, but right now we're still going to go back with the hedgehogs because uh, this is kind of a beachy farm door to me. Um, and I've got my early espresso and I've what I did with my hedgehogs is I put them on my piece of whisper white here and it measures two and an eighth by four. That's what this measurement is of this that goes behind the door. Whether you want to do the sentiment or um, a picture, it's two and an eighth by four. So I'm going to ink up my hedgehogs in my early espresso. Before I did a hedgehog card and it was in crumb cake, um, but this, I love it in the early espresso. It really, really, really lets them pop. Um, I like them in a darker color. So I put them down on this piece of Whisper White first, and then I p picked my block up, and I picked them up off of the paper so that I knew exactly where they were going, and that is perfect. Isn't that pretty? Hmm, they're so cute. Then um, on the one that I showed you, I used Tranquil Tide, or um, was it Tranquil Tide? Um, no, it was Berry Burst in uh, on the high there and right now and I want to incorporate all of the colors so I decided to do my high there in my Emerald Envy which will be fantastic just there oh isn't that cute perfect hi there on both sides I love it now we have the inside of this ready to go you want to bring in your mechanism right here okay and you want to get this attached you're going to see, after running it through the big shot, you're going to see a little indentation here from the framelit where you cut the slots out. You want to line this up on the outside part and you will get it perfect, okay? So you will get it perfect. Just line it up there, it's great. Because there's texture, I want to use my Tombow. And I need this multi-purpose um, really good glue right here. Let me spread this. Use the tip a little bit. Good. And again, just on the outside, kind of, they're very, very light indentations. That's why you um, emboss second, okay? You cut first and then emboss so that you kind of get rid of those indentations on the side. You'll see when you get the set what I mean. Okay, now that goes right there. Isn't that perfect? Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to stamp and cut out the door now um, off camera, and then we're going to apply it here on camera. Let's talk about these wonderful framelits uh, that Stampin' Up! came out with with this collection. Okay, um, so here's the wreath. Here's the stamp set, okay. And here's the wreath that I used. Let me just, oh, there's a handle. <laughs> Little pieces, right? Um, and let me just bring this card in, okay. See how my flowers are three different colors? My wreath. And I stayed in the Emerald Envy, Dapper Denim, Flirty Flamingo, Peekaboo Peach, uh, um, and Sweet Sugar Plum. I used all through here. So uh, that was the suite of colors that I used for this card, which is a great way to use all of your colors. Just pull them all out with your ink and, you know, just start to use everything out of that set because they all coordinate because Stampin' Up! takes all that guesswork out of it for us. So to do this, uh, though, what they did with the framelit set, you get the wreath, this is the wreath, and then you get three different flowers to cut out. So if you stamp your wreath in like um, Emerald Envy and then you go to uh, Peekaboo Peach, Flirty Flamingo, Sweet Sugar Plum, stamp it all three times and then cut your flowers out individually. Or you could just stamp it twice and they have a little flower framelit here that cuts all three of them out together. So this is extremely versatile with this wreath. Okay. Um, and I did it with this one for this door right here. So you get the wreath, okay, and you get a bow. 
And so when you stamp the wreath, stamp it in another color for the bow, like I did right here. I used, um, what is this, fresh fig. I used fresh fig for this wreath. And then I used um, powder pink for the bow. Okay, and I just lined it up on the big shot. I cut a whole one out of the fresh fig and just the bow out of the one um, that I did in the powder pink and I'm going to use that bow over top of that wreath and this is a fantastic set. I can't believe they did this um, to get all of these elements out of these wreaths is beautiful. Look at that. See, so that's what I did right there and then the flowers individually right there. So fun. Just um, a lot of fun in the craft room for sure. Now you get this square right here and this cuts out the door. Okay, so I stamp my door in bur berry burst and then I cut it out with this framelit right here. But this is a fantastic rectangular framelit for a window card, um, a shaker card. So you will get a lot more use out of this um, than just the door. Okay. So I just kind of wanted to point these things out to you. I think it was fantastic what uh, Stampin' Up! did with all of these framelits here and the wreaths and how you could cut things out individually. And I just wanted to quickly go over that with you while we were in the midst of this. Uh, I know it's a long video, but there's a lot to do with this card. <clears throat> okay, so now we want to place our door. So, I went to Walmart, I got these number 8 washers, 97 cents for 45 of them, okay? So, um, each part, each uh, corner gets two washers. So, you take the first washer, I flip it over to where, you know, there's like a rounded side and a flat side. I put it under here, just like that. I get my mini dimensionals. You must have mini dimensionals for this. Um, and I've, I've seen a lot of videos where they've talked about the number six washers and the number eight washers. Um, honest to goodness, I would have picked up the sixes if my Walmart had them in stock, but they didn't. So the eights are working fine. Okay, so you just put one mini dimensional and then again there's the flat side of the washer and the rounded side. Now I want the rounded side toward me and I just push my card down and you make a sandwich with the washers. That's all. And that is what allows the card to slide. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it. That's why I can't stop making these things. Okay, so I put my washer underneath here. I get my dimensional so much fun and easy and you get a fantastic result this is just a fun result again the flat side and the rounded side rounded side toward me I put that in the slot and I make a sandwich with my um, with my washers and make sure that they line up together and then they slide okay just make sure they go back and forth alright just like that now I'm going to do two more right there So today it's snowing here in Upper East Tennessee. It w we hit records. It was like 70 degrees. Always when it gets warm, then it snows here. Um, so today we're having a little bit of snow, and I would love to be in the craft room when it's snowing. Um, so another little washer right there in here. Okay. So easy. So much fun, very inexpensive. Um, just like, I just love doing this. Okay, right there. Now, all four of mine now, make sure that they slide before you put your door on. Keep two of them to the left, allow two to, to flow to the right. Okay, so put them in all four corners, just like that. Let's bring our barn door right here over. 
right here. And this um, is where your handle is going to go. In fact, let's just go ahead and attach that handle while we have a hot second here. And then we won't have to worry about it um, when it's lifted up on the on those washers. So I just add uh, again just a small amount of Tombow on each end because it's multi-purpose adhesive. It's very very sticky and I'll just do this and then this goes right here. I kind of use um, see these lines right here? I kind of use them to line it up. Okay, let me pull that closer. Let's let the camera focus. Okay, see the lines right here? I kind of use that to line it up a little bit. So that, you know, just a little tip. Okay, let's bring our, our um, base in right there. Now, <clears throat> what you're going to do on, um, let me get what I need. get my glue dots so sorry okay um, what we're gonna do on these washers now is put some glue dots and you want to put them opposite um, opposite each other but not up and down I found that going off to the right a little bit and then off to the left a little bit right here at the bottom um, that it holds the door nicely. Okay. Now, I use my glue dots. Of course, they come in a big roll. Um, but I use my glue dots that I get from my paper pumpkin that I have left over. That's why mine are on a sheet. Um, but they do come in a nice big roll of them for like $4.50. They're great. Get these off. just like this and I'm stuck come off of there okay there we go now push them all the way to the left get your door let me get in camera here get your door okay kind of leave them at that angle, okay, to the right and to the left. I find that the door swings nicely like that and it sticks nicely. Keep these out of the way. Okay, right there. Now put your door on your washers just like that and covering your paper that's underneath just like that. That's one side, okay? Fantastic. Okay, get the other two to the other side, and we're going to do the same thing with the glue dots, just placing them on the washers just across from each other somehow, apart enough to where it's really going to hold that door. Good. This is such a fun set. I love to do things. A lot of people don't like to fussy fussy over things like this. I do. I like builder sets. I like mechanical sets like this. Fun. Okay, now, keeping your washers now to the right, slide your door over. Keep them all the way to the right, okay? Let them hit the edge of this slot now definitely hit the edge of that slot okay because then they're lined up and then you just bring your door over and cover it press it into the glue dots and look guys you've got it here it goes slide it back and forth so that the um the mini dimensionals pick up you know let the paper get the unsticky off of the or the sticky off of the mini dimensionals just slide it back and forth and it will just go for you just like that isn't that fun okay now <clears throat> here is why that you must have the foam adhesive strips some type of you have all of this weight back here 
You need to pop the card up so that it will slide. These are absolutely fantastic. In fact, this is a new set. I'm going to get my older one, the one I'm almost done with. I'm going to bring this in, and they're just in lines, okay? They're in, in nice strips, and you can use the whole thing, just like our dimensionals. So you want to put this on your card all the way around. And I'm going to show you underneath these washers because they must be supported, okay? So this here, get to the edge. Now we're going to, I'm going to show you from the very beginning, from when we started, why it is so important um, to have this amount of, to have this amount of paper at the bottom, okay? You must be able to put a foam adhesive strip, okay, that doesn't show, let's say it's sticky, it's all sticky, okay. does not touch those washers, okay? Let's just cut this right here. Right there, okay? And does not touch the washers so that the door will still slide, okay? This is very, very important on that lower that you have that going on right there, okay? So that's why in the beginning of the video, we make this the size that we do. Make sure it's not thin like this one came out or you won't be, it won't be able to slide, okay? So let's go ahead and continue with our foam adhesive strips. Too much fun. And they're so easy to use. You just, you know, you just pull them off of there, stick them down, cut them, easy peasy. Great product. Now, um, we want a little piece right here because we want this to, this is what's great too about these. You could piece it together. Always save your little pieces because they will go somewhere, okay? <laughs> this one just keeps wanting to stick to my finger. There we go. Get there. Okay, now, you want a strip underneath but far enough away from your um, washers, okay? It must support this slot. You must support that slot or it's, it's going to collapse and it will not slide. Okay, so I've used basically um, like two and a half of these strips. So I'll just say three. Just like that and I just take these, the paper off. This is so simple. Just right here. That's done, that's done, that's done. Not this one, okay, good. Just like that, okay? And now you have your mechanism just right to slide your door back and forth. So let's bring in our card base. Oop. That one's done. Here's our card base over here. Hold on. <laughs> I work between my desk and, and the video, and um, with something like this, I'm sorry, it just gets busy in here. So we're going to apply this to our card base, leaving our eighth of an inch border. And pressing that down. It'll make it flat, and then your door will, oh, my door came apart. What I want to show you is my washer came out of its slot. That's all. You just pop it right back in, no problem. Might have to take that apart a little bit. And stick it right back on there. No big deal. Slides back and forth. Here we go. Just like that that to where it'll slide. We might have to work with this one a little bit. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to, you get this little part right here that is for your track, right here. 
and I've cut that out of basic black and we're going to put that up here on top looks like the track of the farm door is so cute I have to see why that door is not sliding like it should but I promise you if you mess around with the um, washers just a little bit it will slide and I probably just need to do that off camera so this comes up here allowing just a little bit of room up top let your lemon lime twist or whatever your base is show right there okay well, yeah, because this one came out of its track also, that's why. Okay, let's see now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I, I fixed the little washers on the door, and the door now slides, okay? And <laughs> so... Um, yeah, you just have to make sure that they're in a nice little sandwich and uh, the, none of the dimensionals are stuck to any part of the cardstock. So now we're going to talk about our wreath. So again, I stamped it and then I stamped it again in another color, the powder pink, and just cut out the bow because of the framelits that Stampin' Up! was so kind to um, think about breaking up a... Um, a stamp like that I thought that was fantastic so I'm just going to take my bow and add it over top of this to give it the dimension that I want just like that isn't that adorable it just gives it a whole totally new look now I'm going to flip this over and we're going to add some mini dimensionals to the back making sure the flat part of the little hexagon here is to the inside and outside of that wreath and then they fit perfectly okay this way no points stick out so I'm gonna put three on here just like that so you know you could easily production line these um, these cards it just you know takes me a little bit to explain everything to you guys and go through it with you but um, now I want you to look at this card I put my black metallic thread more toward the top and here I want it more toward this part of the door okay the center of the door so I'm going to take my snail and just lay down a little bit of it just like that I take my thread and I just stick the tip of it into the snail just like that now make your loops just keep on sticking the um, the black metallic thread into the snail as you make your loops that's all it's very simple because you're not going to see this part right here where the snail is and I'm all about three loops on the top and three on the bottom you could do more you could do less nothing however you do it is good right because it's all about happy crafting when you craft you should be like this is like so much fun and happy about it and happy about what you are creating um, so that's why it's there's no rhyme or reason to anything it just and nothing's right nothing's wrong just your creation is what's right and so I snip my thread right there and I'm going to take my wreath and this part of the wreath that's the thickest where the bow is I'm going to put over that part of the door I like that a lot better how this is down I don't know I think I guess I like them both I really like this one better because it shows the top part of the door so with that being said now we have to put our little fake little track on this is very simple these are cut out with the with the framelits they have little framelits if I could pick them up and I just put one dot right here of Tombow right there we're almost done I know this is a long video but um, this card took a lot to do now I put it over I come into this part of the door right here and I put it right there to make it straight okay 
wherever you put it. If you put it in the middle there, put it in the middle. If you put it there, put it, you know, wherever you want to put it, but just make sure that it is straight. Okay, and then right here, and just make sure that you do the same on each side with these so things look symmetrical when you place these. See, so I came in on the door right here. I want to come in right here. Perfect. Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? I'm not going, the, the Tombow's not dry, so this slides just like that. We have our little hedgehogs with our high there, right there. Okay, I couldn't help but slide it. Okay. <laughs> and then right here we have this one, and that goes like that. I love it. Look at how cute our cards came, guys. And then we have this one also. Oh, they're so adorable. Thanks for watching. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com. Click on the big blue button where you can order this most fantastic barn door bundle. Happy crafting.